Hi, welcome to Premium Beat. My name is Rubidium. Today we're going to look at removing unwanted sounds from your audio and mastering to get the best sound possible. If you've ever shot in a office building, the unwanted hum of the air conditioner is something that you've had to deal with. More often than not, they're impossible to turn off and you just have to deal with the sound. Today, we're gonna to look at a couple of things that you can do to clean up your audio, to get rid of unwanted sounds, and to output the most high quality sound and dialogue possible. This is an example of clean audio. And this is an example of an air conditioner running. You'll notice that there's a constant hum in the background and it's really distracting from my voice, especially if it's a dramatic scene or you want the speaker to be heard clearly. You can see on the audio levels that the air conditioner is in the bottom 20%. If it's higher than that, you risk distorting your dialogue once you get rid of it with software. You could always turn the microphone level down to get rid of that hum, but then your voice might not be captured at all. Another solution on set is to get the microphone closer to the person speaking, but if you don't want it in frame, you're limited by the minimal distance. The most important thing you can do on set is get clean sound of the noise, which we'll do now. This is known as room tone and is essential for cleaning up the audio and post using software. Now that we've recorded some room tone and we have the dialogue, let's jump into Premiere and see what we can do. So here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro and you can see I've loaded in my clip and if I zoom in, you can see that there's a noise floor before the speaking starts. The most important thing you can do on set is get clean sound of the noise, which we'll do now. My first step is to actually get this into Adobe Audition. So I right click and say edit clip in Adobe Audition. And the clip will open in Adobe Audition. The first thing I want to do is select an area where there's no speaking at all. It's just the background noise. Then I go up to effects, noise reduction and capture noise print. You can also use the, the shortcut shift P. Now I deselect the, the noisy part and select the whole clip. Go to the same menu, noise reduction, noise reduction process. This will now tell me how much I'm going to reduce it, uh, what, how extreme the noise reduction is going to be, how aggressive, and then how much it's going to reduce it by. So somewhere around 60 and 20 decibels should really get rid of that noise. If I apply it, you'll see what was once noisy, if I zoom in, is now totally gone. And my audio the thing you can do on set is, get is a lot cleaner. You can see it's updated my audio with what I had before. The most important thing you can do on set is get clean sound of the noise, which we'll do now. And the air conditioner sound has disappeared or almost disappeared. I've still got a couple more steps I can take. I'll go across now to my audio tab. I'll click this tiny little arrow to go to the effects because I'm in track one. I'll click this and go down to noise reduction, denoise, but the default is all the way up here at 40. I just want about 10% or 10 degrees of noise reduction. The most important thing you can do on set is get clean sound of the noise, which we'll do now. That's t almost totally eliminated um, the noise between the process we did in Audition and Resolve's native um, denoise, we've pretty much eliminated it. However, there are a couple more things that we can do while we're in this uh, effects tab that are really going to improve the sound of our audio and how it's heard. If I play this through, the most important thing you can do on set is get clean sound of the noise, which we'll do now. The level hovers around most between minus 18 and minus 12. What I'd like to do is add a multiband compressor. What that'll do is, if we look at the peaks here, it'll even out these peaks so the top ones don't go higher than I want them to be and the bottom ones are brought up to the top ones. 
You do this with a multi-band compressor, which is under amplitude compression, and then multi-band compressor. Double click on it to get your settings. Go down to broadcast. Uh, if you want to, you can just change the limiter to the same settings here, one and 100, so that it's a little snappier. And let's play that through. The most important thing you can do on set is get clean sound of the noise, which we'll do now. You can see that pretty much the whole thing now is between minus six and minus 12 with almost all the peaks, even though in the waveform they're different, they all hit around minus six. To add one more little piece of sweetening, I'll go into filter and AQ parametric equalizer. I'll double click on it. It's a flat line and I'll go down to vocal enhancer. I find this a little extreme in the top, so I'm gonna bring that down. I'm gonna bring this down. I'm gonna bring this up ways, which we'll do now. And let's listen to that. The most important thing you can do on set is get clean sound of the noise, which we'll do now. And now I have a clip that was almost, so if I play my original uh, audio next to this new audio, is get clean sound of the noise, which we'll do now. The most important thing you can do on set is get clean sound of the noise, which we'll do now. So you can see not only is this one cleaner, it sounds brighter, it sounds deeper, and overall the volume is better, it's more listenable. That's our look at mastering your audio and cleaning up dialogue in Premiere Pro. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.